Hi, Dr. Charles here, and today we're gonna to talk about the three newest things that men are using to help their ED. Stay tuned, because these three are very new, and it's something that men are using with great efficacy, and I'll go through the pros and cons of each. So, first things first, as a medical disclaimer, I am a board-certified medical doctor, but this is not medical advice. This is purely for informational use only. If you want medical advice, please speak to your medical doctor. So, let's just jump right in. What is the number one new thing that patients are using? Using for the ED? Well, this is a peptide called PT141. It can be administered in many different routes, but the most common is a subcutaneous or small injection under the skin. And the reason why many people like this is because it naturally stimulates the body's own nitric oxide in the brain and may also help with libido. And in doing this, it may also stimulate endo in the penis, which has been shown to cause erections through vasodilation, allowing more blood flow, and allowing for firmer longer erections. The next one, number two, is Trimix. This one is becoming very popular, particularly in men with refractory ED. Now, the reason why people like this medication is because it combines three unique mechanisms in order to stop constriction of the blood flow and to help dilate the blood vessels, again, leading to more blood flow and leading to longer lasting firmer erections. Now, the issue with this is it does have to be injected directly into the penis and you don't know exactly how long the erections will last which can be a problem. It also can be incredibly inconvenient, and it's something that has just been used as a triple therapy fairly recently, so there's not a ton of data on it. So to number three, and that happens to be regenerative care, things like PRP and stem cell and exosomes. Now, the reason why we like stem cells and exosomes particularly is that it has the potential to actually get to the root cause by causing a process called angiogenesis, which is new blood vessel growth in the penis. Now, there are a number of studies who are showing this in preclinical studies in mice and rats, and also some case studies in humans as well. There are also several other studies which are showing the potential of stem cells and exosomes to increase blood flow through this process called angiogenesis, which we all know is the main component of these three medications. And in my opinion, this gets to it in a much more natural and holistic way. So if you'd like to learn more, just click the link in the description down below or watch the video on screen now. We'll see you soon.